car, and we'll talk about a few here. The first is super low rolling resistance tires. Now these tires <coughs> reduce rolling resistance by another 10% over traditional ro low rolling resistance tires. Again, helping to maximize range and, and uh, reduce uh, or improve uh, efficiency. There's aerodynamic improvements. There's a full belly pan under the car from bumper to bumper, and this improves aerodynamics by about 5%. And it improves NVH because what you don't hear is the wind noise under the car that's tumbling and tossing as the car moves, moves through the air. Then we have a third generation regen braking system that helps recover about 12% of the energy on D cell. And one of the cool things about the car is you can put it in big D and drive like a normal internal combustion sole, or you can put it in B mode, which is brake mode, and you can, you can one pedal drive it for your EV enthusiasts out there. It works wonderfully. And then finally, in the, uh, in the center of the gauge cluster is a three and a half inch OLED screen. And while it reduces energy consumption a little bit, it also provides a crisper, more efficient, cleaner looking uh, presentation compared to a traditional TFT screen. And again, standard DC charging on the car. So what do we get? We get 93 miles of EPA certified range. This is better than LEAF, better than FOCUS, better than 500E. In fact, it's better than any other EV in the market, except for the $70,000 Tesla Model S, and we're very, very proud of that.